So the Snow Concert Hall is uh, a new addition to Canberra Grammar School here in Canberra. It has been uh, sort of the new crowning jewel of the school and it's really starting to make its own as a, as a venue space here in Canberra. The venue can seat uh, 936 on the ground level and then between 200 and 400 on the mezzanine level. During the day, it is majoritively school-based events, uh, a lot of concert bands, presentations. We do our assemblies here in this hall, but then uh, after, after school hours and on the weekends, we have a lot of concerts. We've just finished doing an album recording for a local artist here. Once I we got in this room and I realised just how reverberant and how live the room was, I knew that a line array system was never going to be the best option and a beam steered system was a far, far better choice because you can really pull that audio off the walls, off the back, you can shoot it straight at people. When you've got a reverberant space like this, which actually acoustically sounds really incredible, the intelligibility was not quite there where PA reinforcement was really important. So the fact that we've got the beam steering that stands out particularly well with the FON we get great clarity throughout the space. The FON system in Snow Auditorium is the first time that FON Focus Modular has been in a theatre application in Australia. This is an extraordinary system given the size and the form factor and the whole system we can beam steer. So we have perfect coverage front to back, side to side, straight hang and a tiny footprint. Obviously we're a column, a nice discrete column array. We've got an FM 400, 400 and then the 100 HF down below. Uh, and then either side with the arrays, we've got the PS 800 subwoofers, which are the uh, 18 inch drivers in those units. When we ran it up, I was, um, I kept pushing that fader and it just get, kept getting bigger and I was quite blown away with the performance level. So this was my first experience hearing the phone audio system and I'll be honest I was skeptical when I first walked in and, and saw it. If I were to describe the phone PA it would be smooth. Silky I guess is, is the way to describe it. The, you look at the, the high frequency drivers and they're so much smaller than the mid frequency and the, the full range drivers but they, they, boy howdy, they shoot <laughs> a lot of high frequency energy in really controlled areas and again being able to steer things as needed is it, it just allows for so much more control. Quite often we will have events and things where we've got kids right in front of the stage because we've just got so many kids we can't fit them all on the stage and being able to tilt that beam up so that we're not shooting directly into the microphones, super handy. In addition to being able to cover the audience very accurately with the beam steering front to back, we also have the ability to be able to switch beams on and off. Uh, from this modular system. So if we have an event where there, there is no audience in the balcony, we can switch that part off and simply have the system performing perfectly through the main area of the auditorium. The flexibility of that means that you have complete control over the audio in whatever configuration the hall is being used. Mixing on the phone audio system did take a little bit of time to readjust to. It's not a high energy system, it's, it's a very smooth even energy system. There's not much guesswork. You, you, really what you hear is what you, what you get and because of the beam steering you know that what I'm hearing at the back of the room is what the person at the front of the room is hearing. Mm -hmm.